our next guest lost herself, she says, after leaving a toxic relationship behind. And the journey in leaving that relationship led her to a new love in life. And I'm betting you're gonna be inspired by her story. Take a look. Letitia says she spent years in an abusive relationship that left her lost and dealing with the trauma of what she says she endured. I made a promise to myself, like any opportunity that came into my way, I was just gonna say yes to it. And it came while she was studying in her college library. And these three really cute boys came up to me and they were like, do you salsa dance? And I was like, you know, no. And they were like, what do you want to? And I was like, yeah. And I had the best time of my life. And from that day, like, I just did not stop dancing. It saved my life. Letitia had found a hobby to heal her. But after a few years in corporate America, something told her to make it her career. So she quit her nine to five and opened up her own dance studio in Colorado Springs to share what healed her with her community. I'm here to help other people achieve the same thing. What she's created is just this environment for me to love myself. It's really just helped me heal in ways that I couldn't have imagined. Now I'm feeling a, a new level of like love and support for just who I am authentically. I have supportive people around me every day that remind me, you can do it. We cry together and they just say to me, Tish, you have no idea how much this has changed my life. I'm just grateful. Joining us from her studio at Colorado Springs, please, Tam Fan, welcome Letitia Hardy to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm already crying. I don't. <laughs> You know, that's a part of this journey when you start to look back at how far you've come. The tears aren't sadness. It's, it's it's a celebration. And looking back at where this started for you and what you described as a toxic relationship um, and, and losing yourself, for people who don't understand what that feels like, Letitia, can you take them to that space in your life where you felt you'd lost yourself? It's, it's really... A space where um, you don't have words, you know, everything that comes up for you is a question mark. Uh, you don't trust yourself anymore. I didn't trust myself anymore. Um, no one around you you trust. It's, it's this feeling of not understanding what's happening around you um, and not being able to communicate that even. When you decided to reveal your journey, your story. How did that help lead you to where you are now with your name on the back of the wall with this incredible dance studio? Was the weight lifted when you said, here's what I've been through, but here's where I want to go? Absolutely. I just remember walking into, I remember when I went out with these three really cute boys from the library, um, we went to this Latin club and I walked in and the feeling that I felt with the music that was there. And I literally felt like baby, baby from Dirty Dancing and like, nobody's gonna put baby in a corner. And I was just out there living my best life. Um, and it was the first time that I actually felt free. It was the first time I didn't experience judgment for the feelings that were coming up for me. Um, and every time I went out dancing, that heaviness continued to lift. And I gained more and more confidence. And I knew from that moment that everyone needed to know what it felt like to be this free. More with Letitia Hardy after the break. We are back with Letitia Hardy, whose passion for dance has built an entire community of people who help celebrate and empower one another. In fact, since she's opened her studio, so many dancers have wanted to tell how she's inspired them. One in particular not only says that she was inspired, she says Letitia Hardy saved her life. We were both Army. I did active duty. My husband was active duty and he just got out last summer. In 2016, we were considering divorce and to kind of save the marriage. He looked online for dance lessons because I've always wanted to dance. I'm on the dance team. It was the day after we got back from Miami performing for the first time. I get back and my husband's in a PTSD episode, but I didn't know that. And literally that night um, was his suicide attempt. 
the team showed up that same day with food. Like they did laundry for me. Like, what can we do? That was the moment that I realized maybe I need to start doing some things. I'm on a whole new journey and being a part of this community has brought support that I never thought I could have had. Letitia Hardy is still with us and also joining us, Tam Fam, is Nene Montgomery, the woman who shared her story so beautifully in that video diary. Nene, thank you so much for joining us. Um, the power of dance. Wow, you've made the case for it, certainly. You did not know, as I understand, the depth of the PTSD in your own life, in your own home, your own mental health. How did the dance world and how did this bond, if you will, with Letitia and the other women help you reveal that pain and even learn that it existed? Um, as you saw previously, um, them supporting me and really bringing my own awareness to light just by being there and saying, hey, we see that you're not okay. Um, it forced me to look within and go, man, I'm not okay. What does this really mean? And from that depth, I began to really heal. Um, recently got the diagnosis of PTSD myself, didn't think I had it, um, thought, you know, I trained to save lives and I've never been blown up, so I don't have this thing. And it was just through their love and support that I realized, yeah, it's time to take a closer look. I mean, Tish, this whole show is about revealing one's darkest moments in hopes of healing oneself. But in the process, look what you've done and built this community that helped people like Nini. Is, was this the plan? It was the plan. I don't know I imagined it was going to look like this. Um, you know, like I said before, it was like, oh, I'm, I want to help people, you know, through dance, uh, be vulnerable and heal and, and have a moment with themselves that feels really real and vulnerable so we can put what's inside and make it something tangible so that we can move through it. It's truly a pleasure and an honor and to be able to, you know, help people the way that I that I do. Well, listen, you got your name on an entire dance studio. Your logo is behind you. It begs me to say, come on, you're in a dance studio. I need to see some of the dance that's inspired this community. What do you have for us? Let's do it. Let's do it. As we go to break, Nene and Letitia Hardy share a little bit of what's built their community of dance, but also in the process build a community of healing.